Now, ladies and gentlemen, with the pre-summer hype for Counter-Strike Global Offensive skins, stickers, cases, and more kind of being out right now, as well as China's new trading website known as Upin, which is pretty much skyrocketed lower tier knives because people are pretty much making a Chinese version of Loot Bear and having their own store page that people can rent skins. And they're making actually a lot of ROI every single month and every single year. That's also caused pretty much everything else to go up. And before the Antwerp Major here very, very soon, I really wanted to go over the operation stickers from the previous operation, Operation Riptide, specifically the Surf Shop collection. This is been something people have been wanting me to cover in the past few videos and I've kind of just not really had the time. So today I want to make a dedicated video to operation stuff and specifically the stickers. We will be brushing on the operation case as well as the main weapon skins. And now ladies and gentlemen, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hi you, yes you, would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. And to kind of go off of the Riptide case right now, I really don't think this case is really going to go higher than maybe $1.15. So if you want to sell now, you can, but if you have a large quantity, you could wait a little while as well. Because if the Dreams and Nightmares situation keeps going the way it is, I mean, it's growing up in quantity and it's still holding its value, which is really, really odd. This case is still going to be pretty much the exact same price unless there's more people unboxing these and buying the dreams and nightmares cases driving the price down a lot that will also drive the riptide case down quite a bit as well so in my opinion if you bought in earlier during the late operation you would just sell the riptide case now take the profit and go forward and don't really think back twice about it if you made an extra 15 20 cents profit if you would have stayed in for an extra couple weeks just play it safe now for the riptide surf shop stickers it's mainly the higher tier ones that have gone up pretty much the most i would say pretty much all the exotic stickers okay the pinks and also the tier six stickers have also gone up quite a bit that's pretty much every single one of them they're remarkable stickers the purples the miami tier six has gone up about two dollars once again the cotton candy flow hollow has gone up quite a bit and that's kind of to be expected i talked about how i was investing into these at the end of operation riptide and they've actually made some really really good profit right now and for me i actually sold a lot of mine a few weeks ago when i made a video talking about i'm selling a lot of my operation investments and stockholm stuff and then rebuying in later on and that's kind of what i'm doing right now I'm also going to sell the rest of Miami tier six stickers and some of my other stickers as well from the operation because with the major coming here very very soon it's going to be very difficult to profit because we're going to lose 10 to 15 percent most likely of Stockholm stuff even if the stickers are really really good for the Antwerp major or really bad for an example if they're really good well I think we could lose up to 30 to 40 percent but I really don't know and I doubt that's even going to happen but that's always a possibility so the first thing I want to look at is the cotton candy flow hollow this sticker is specifically five dollars and ten cents it's recently had a huge spike up in price just about a week ago it was $3.84 in the steam market it is now pushing over five dollars which is actually very very good for a sticker like this and if you look at the last month on steam it started out and have had really really lows at the end of february after the end of operation reptide obviously in stockholm stickers were going to the moon this is kind of the trend you saw when stockholm was going on right here when that thing was really taking off that's why you see prices at $2.90 and now it's five dollars and for this sticker specifically i can really relate it in a lot of these to the battle scar and battle scarred hollow i would know the battle scarred sticker went from being like a six to ten cent sticker now it's over a dollar it almost was over a dollar a little while ago so that's a different cause and different field in my personal opinion but the hollows and the higher tier stickers from this operation are kind of similar to broken fang and with the battle scarred hollow this thing sought an all-time high at the end of the operation as well as a little after the operation obviously there, there's a lot of things different obviously there's two majors this year when last year there was only rmr and that wasn't even a major and one of the biggest failed investments people had to kind of get their jump back and kind of get their stuff back with rmr and kind of rebound with stockholm obviously so a lot of different events playing into place but i think with so many stickers being on the market right now i really don't think these stickers are going to go up that much further than here and especially if you did buy in during the operation when they were very very low at you know two and three dollars currently especially for something like this that's why i would sell right now but that's just my personal opinion that's kind of just speculation obviously this could go up even more but if you're unfamiliar with what i'm talking about i recently made a video how there's over 300 stickers every single year being launched with an operation you know a major and that's also with souvenir packages that don't really count but there's a lot of other stuff with all the sticker community capsules that are coming out it's absolutely crazy so there's just so many stickers to be able to keep their eye on keep an eye on for attention and now the miami tier six sticker this is something i think a lot of people invest in especially on my channel it's something i talked about investing in and one of my biggest viewed videos the past couple of months has been something i talked about how i invested in these so we look back about a week ago these were six dollars and thirty cents this is right after the operation it looked like or this is what the price was after the operation anyway and during you know march 3rd we saw a price of five dollars and twenty cents now it's seven dollars and 75 cents which is really really nice 
And I think this thing has a really nice future as well, but it's just kind of like everything else right now. You know, I don't really see it going too much further than this. It could go to $10, but if you invest in it, like, you know, four or $5, it's looking like a really, really good investment for a lot of people, especially if you bought them in bulk, which I usually tend to do with operation stickers. Now the next sticker up is obviously the Doppler Poison Frog, the foils to be exact, these are all the foil versions. This is $3.48. This the past week has been all over the place at $2.60. It's gone up about, you know, maybe a dollar, maybe 80 cents. And this is the growth throughout the operation. And you can kind of see the same trend, $2.80 to $2 a little while ago. And it's kind of gone up a dollar, dollar 50 cents ever since then. And for this thing, I think, you know, it's it's really hard to say for this sticker to be exact, but kind of the same thing with everything else. I'm definitely thinking the rest of these stickers that I'm gonna show in this video for an update are probably a lot worse off than the newer ones and the more popular ones like the Cotton Candy Flow Hollow and the Mimer 26 Hollow. Obviously the other tier six stickers are also really good, but they haven't seen the huge profit spikes the same as the Miami one specifically. Do I think those have more room to grow? Possibly, but once again, it's just really hard, too hard to say. And if you made decent amount of profit, I would cash out and come back in the next few weeks when we see the major come out with the stickers and you know, everything's going to fall back down in price. Hopefully that's usually how it works, but you know, you tend to don't have things work the way you want them to. The blaze case surf foil and the blaze surf stickers have actually gone up quite a bit. They've had a actually huge spike of popularity recently, and they've actually been a dollar throughout the operation. Now they're pushing over $3, which is just kind of crazy. That's 200% profit on one of those things or two times it, right? And the highest it was during the operation was around $1.40. And that's actually really, really good ROI for a sticker like this. And I really thought these were going to be like the Hello Recoil stickers from Operation Broken Fang, but it doesn't really seem to be the case this time. So if these dip back down in price, I actually could see these to be a decent investment in the future, but it would be a time when not a lot of things are going on in CS. The Dragon Lore Surf Avafoil is actually looking pretty good as well. Very similar. Kind of like all the surf foils from this operation are similar to the blaze one okay this one to be exact has really really good profit as well not as good as the blaze one but it's still looking really really good now there's two last stickers i want to cover for operation riptide related stuff and that is the liquid fire and liquid fire hollow stickers i do think they're pretty good investments and if you invest in it at the right time like a lot of people suggested i should have in my investment video that i did a little while ago talking about my investments which i actually listened to a lot of the community and it's made me a lot of profit and i maybe a lot of other people as well so at the end of operation riptide these things were dipping you know for close to 34 let's just say 37 maybe 40 cents now they're 62 cents but they had an all-time high a little while ago of like almost 70 cents which is pretty good and the same thing goes with this i think this thing could be really good in the future but for right now you know there's just so much other content out in the game and so many other stickers it's going to be hard for these things to really go up but i think they're really going to get a decrease in price possibly during the major that comes out here very very soon and as of course for the liquid fire hollow this thing was something i actually invested in a little less this year i actually learned this back in operation broken fang when investing into the battle scarred hollow versus the battle scarred paper i actually find more so this time around that I think more profit can be made on the lower end side of stickers, especially for something like this. Now, I take a look at the Battle Scarred Hollow. There's different scenarios with these, right? The Battle Scarred sticker went from being a 20 to 30 cent sticker on the Steam market alone to now over a dollar. The Battle Scarred Hollow went from being, you know, you get them on third party websites for as little as like a dollar fifty to two dollars. Now they're four dollars and they've had an all time high of seven dollars and fifty cents. So I think the room to grow on the regular paper stickers is a lot more. But this thing has gone from, you know, two dollars and twenty, I would say an all time low a little while ago of $1.93 all the way up to $2.53, which is not the best considering there's not a whole lot of them on the market versus like the Battle Scar Hollow and of course the regular Liquid Fire sticker. And that's really all I'm going to be covering in today's video market update specifically for the Riptide stickers. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what you guys are doing with your operation stickers because I'm really curious because I still have a few left over, right? And I still have a few Stockholm things left over. Stockholm, I'm holding for the long term, the ones that I have left that I'm hoping to buy back a lot of the things I sold a little while ago for a cheaper price than I sold them for during the Antwerp Major when everything's kind of going on sale, if those stickers look decent or even really bad. And for operation stuff, I'm going to be selling right now for a lot of things are hitting their all time highs and I don't really see them going higher and past that point because there's so many stickers in CS. Obviously, that's just my personal opinion. That's just my speculation. As TDM Jesus says, trust the numbers, not your gut. Peace out, guys.